Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about is called The Gospel According to Andre. This is a documentary. This is about Andre Leon Talley. That's right. He's the great fashion expert. Uh, he's there at the red carpets and at all the fashion things in Paris and in France, all around the world. But it talks about his humble beginnings and how he became Andre Leon Talley. First of all, he was born in 1948. The best part of this film is when Talley himself speaks about himself and his experiences. Also, when he meets with other people in this film. Now, the director, Kate Novak, she knew exactly what she wanted because it's very easy to do, in my opinion. All you got to do is focus on Leon, and there you have the documentary. You have enough to say through his experiences and also what he has to contribute to the film. You know, he became an editor at large at American Vogue, and he's the first African American to do that. Also, he's the one of the best fashion gurus of all times. Now, he's born in 1948, as I mentioned earlier, and he's the son of a sharecropper. And he had to live in Durham, North Carolina. The reason for that, because his parents sent him to live with his grandmother who lived there in Durham, North Carolina. You know, she worked for white people and she worked for the Duke University, you know, cleaning up the dorms and things like that. And, you know, he knew his mother and father. In fact, uh, and that's one point in the film. His mother didn't even like him, but he did have a good relationship with his father. His father was a taxi driver and he knew him very well. But his grandmother is the one who influenced him the most throughout his whole life, throughout his whole career. Now, he started reading Vogue magazines uh, when he was very young. and He got the magazines from the library there in Durham. And, you know, he did suffer a little bit of racism because when he went back and forth to the library, you know, people, white boys and people like that, throw rocks at him and call him all kind of names. But when he got in high school, you know, he did some plays, but everyone knew him in high school and he was very popular in high school. In fact, they uh, showed uh, some of his high school friends and also some of his friends from the colleges and universities that he attended also. But his grandmother, you know, she took him to church, she cooked for him and things like that. and. She was fashionable herself. Now, when Leon would read these magazines, you know, he would adrift into that world of fashion. And then when they started adding black models in the magazine, he really got very excited. Like I say, he went to Hillside High School, but he also attended, uh, he received a BA in French literature from North Carolina. And the reason he uh, got a BA in French literature from North Carolina uh, Central University, well, he loved the French language, he loved the French style, and he loved the French period because that's where all the fashions were there in France, in Paris. Then later on, he went to Brown University and got a graduate degree in French studies, and he knew how to speak French very well. But his grandmother said, look, you're not going to do anything here. There's nothing here for you here in Durham. Why don't you leave and go somewhere? So he finally went to New York. And there, 1974, he meets a woman that really helped him out, a woman named Diana Verlin. Now, I, I don't know anything about her. Uh, I never heard about her in my life, but she's very popular in New York, and she made him work and stand by her side while he was there in New York at that time. Then in 1978, he meets E. St. Laurent, he goes to France, and that's where things happen. But before that, though, he did get a chance to work for Interview Magazine. That's Andy Warhol's magazine. And then he started writing for that, that magazine, and he worked with some very good people. But, you know, he was the first African-American uh, reporter covering the Paris runway there in Paris. He did it for many years, and people just loved him. In fact, there are many people in this film who talks about him. Well, you got uh, Tamara Hall. Remember, she's on NBC. She's no longer there. 
Tom Ford, I love his cologne. Mark Jacobs, I don't wear anything by him. Diane von Furstenberg, don't wear anything by her. Whoopi Goldberg, I'm still a fan of hers. Valentino, I just love the way he designed his clothes. Milano Balink, uh, his shoes for women are gorgeous. Maureen Dow, Fran Lebowitz, the great writer. And uh, Will I Am, the musician. And there was other people in the film too that he met, but he met everyone and everybody knew him. One thing too about him uh, that the director showed that he really never had anything negative to say about anyone. There's always something positive and something great to say about people that he met and people that he knew. There was instances where people did talk behind his back, not about his physicality or anything like that, but about his skin color there in Europe and in the United States. And that really hurt him and it really showed that in the film. You know, he also did a lot for black people in the fashion industries too, because he would get to those designers saying, how come you don't have any more black models, black designers and things like that. He really did a lot for African Americans in the fashion world. I really give him credit for that. Now, was this an enjoyable film? Yes, it was. Also, it's a film that you would really learn a lot about fashion, but also about Leon. That's the whole thing about it. I didn't know a lot about this guy, but now I do, and I really admire him. I really admire what he had done. This is a very, very good documentary, and it's not that long. You will enjoy it. I'm giving this three and a half palm trees out of four, three and a half stars out of four, because I learned a lot, it was entertaining, and you had the central figure there talking about himself and talking about the people that he met. Leon Talley, Andre Leon Talley, or the film is called The Gospel According to Andre. You will enjoy it, go see it for yourself. Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket, and I really appreciate it that you watch my review of The Gospel According to Andre. I really appreciate it. You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right.